Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Power Platform Deployment Step by Step Tutorial Series. You are watching the fourth episode of this series and in this episode we are going to create the release pipeline from scratch. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. So here I am on my machine and this is the one which we have created in our previous session. We successfully created our pipeline over here. Now it's time to create the release pipeline and to do the release pipeline you simply need to click on the release section from here. Once you do that simply click on new pipeline. Here first you need to select the artifacts. So over here I am selecting the Azure DevOps from here and I am selecting the exact same project that we have set up. So we set up power platform source and I am selecting my Power Platform source repository over here. By default, I am selecting the main branch over here and I need the latest from the default branch. And let's simply click on add button. So it just added that particular stuff over here. Now let's click on add stage and over here click on empty job. Provide any name over here. So I'm just selecting here my name as release pipeline. All right. So that's it. And then we need to simply click on this zero task option and let's add the different task over here. So here we already exported the solution. Now using this pipeline, we need to import that to the target environment. For that, simply click on the plus icon over here and search for Power Platform Build Tools. So search for Power Platform. So here I am just using Power Platform Tool Installer. So first it will do the installation. Next step is we unpack the solution into our pipeline. Now we need to pack the solution again. So simply click on plus icon over here and search for pack solution. So here we have an option Power Platform Pack Solution. Let's select that and first of all, let's provide the source folder of the solution to pack. So here you simply need to select the browse source folder. Simply select your power platform source, power apps and unmanaged. Select up to this level and click on OK. And that will add this kind of path for you over here. Now next step is something which you need to provide the output file. So here I want to provide my output file path as this one like this. In staging directory I just want to provide solution name dot zip. That's it. Type of solution is unmanaged. That's it. Perfect. After we unpack the solution we simply need to import our solution. So add one more task over here and search for import solution. Let's select that and here provide the authentication type as service principal. Select your destination connection over here where we want to move this solution. Okay. Then solution input file you need to provide. So this is the exact same name that we have provided over here in the output previous output. Right. So provide the exact same solution input file over here. Perfect. And all good perfect after we import the solution make sure you publish all the customization so let's add one more task over here called publish all the customization and click on add so this is adding this kind of stuff select here again service principal and let's select the destination connection here environment url as is perfect all right and let's save this stuff. So I'm just selecting and saving my release pipeline over here. Okay. So that's perfect. Now again, if you go to the pipeline section, it will show you this kind of stuff to you over here. Now let's do the release using this release pipeline. So the end goal was I simply need to move my solution from my ALM dev to ALM prod environment, right? Now let's click on create release 
and simply select the release pipeline that we just created and click on create and let's see what happens so the release has been created successfully and now once you create the release you need to simply click on the deploy button so from here simply click on deploy multiple and that will start performing this release so let it to be happen and let's see what happens here so you can see it is under queue now you can simply click on that and check the progress over here as well so you can see that it started performing the task over here and you can see this kind of timer over here let's wait for a couple of minutes to finish this task over here okay you can also always go to the log section to check the things in detail okay so it's up to you how you want to debug that okay meantime what i want to do here is simply let me open up my destination environment and see what happens there so you can see that it started importing the solution here and at last it will publish the customization so first four steps are succeeded let's wait let's see what happens depending on your solution size it will take some time to execute and here we are you can see that it imported successfully within 1 minute 23 second and now it is publishing all the customization so let it to be happen meantime let me open up my environment and let me show you the end deployment over there as well so here let me open up my ALM prod environment and let's go to the solution section and you can see that this is the solution we just deployed one minute ago and you can see that let's just open up that and you can see that all the apps flows everything over here and over here if you look at the owner you can see that this is the Azure application that we have registered it is considered here as an owner of this particular uh, deployment okay so this is how you can simply deploy your entire solution using Azure DevOps CI CD pipelines and meantime if I'm checking this this is also completed successfully so our release is absolutely perfect and fine hope this entire series will teach you lots of understanding about the azure devops ci cd deployment pipeline hope these videos are helpful to you and values your time if so it's my humble request to hit thumbs up share it with your friend and please subscribe my channel this motivates me to create such a good content in future as well. Are you looking for any paid consultation or some sort of expertise from me? Don't worry, the website link is available over here. Write down your query over there. Also, don't forget to follow me on my other social media handle like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Every links are available in the, the about section of this screen. Don't forget to subscribe my another channel Digital Dhruvin where I'm uploading Hindi content as well as short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next sessions with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.